I really, you know, make make your point and excite us and make us make us want to learn more. We'll even read your paper. Uh, so, Ricardo Galega, Galego Torome, are you uh, here? Yes, I am. Yeah, here. he's here. Can you hear? Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay. So, thank you very much for the invitation. Let me just. Uh, I think I have a problem with you. Can you can you see my screen? No. 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 Now you should always uh, share the desktop itself rather than the. It's the easy. Can you see now? Now we uh, see no, you. we cannot see your screen. Uh, you need to click the uh, share screen button. It's yes. In the middle of it should be in the middle of your screen. Like so, screen. Can you see now? No, no, <laughs> this is very disappointing. I'm sorry for this. Well, what so why don't, why don't you take this opportunity just to, to turn your camera on and tell us what you're doing? In the meantime, okay. while you're doing that, make you okay, that. yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. I uh, if this doesn't work, uh, then I can. I can, I don't know why it doesn't work because uh, I can see the screen, share the screen, but it doesn't work. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, I am working, uh, I am affiliated to the University of Primorska. Can you see me now? Yes. Okay, now I try to speak and share the screen. No, it doesn't work. Okay, uh, I, I am affiliated to the University of Primorska. I am working on uh, quantum radar with uh, some collaborators in uh, Fraunhofer Institute uh, Germany. And then, uh, well, quantum, quantum radar is basically based on the idea of the protocol of quantum illumination. Uh, quantum illumination is a protocol discovered 2008, basically by Seth Lloyd and uh, other people were working at MIT. And the idea is to use instead of a uh, usual a uh, coherent light to illuminate uh, use entangled light. The advantage of this is that uh, entanglement uh, provo uh, promo uh, provides uh, extra correlations, extra correlations between a, you have two photons, uh, you have uh, states, quantum states, uh, you have beams composed or disguised by quantum states, one uh, with two photons, one of the photons, uh, the two photons will have correlations and these correlations, although entanglement is lost, um, imply higher sensitivity. What that means is that uh, that uh, signal to noise ratio for quantum correlation is, is uh, higher than for any other light of the same characteristics of frequency and intensity. Uh, two examples, two models, the first original model from, from Lloyd, uh, it's, uh, it's really amazing the, 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 uh, the enhancement on the signal to noise ratio. One can speak about 60 uh, dB, but the more, more realistic scenarios with Gaussian lights, uh, scenarios, uh, squid, two, two vacuum squid uh, uh, states, for them, a, uh, the theory says that the enhancement on signal to noise ratio is about 3 dB with respect to current light illumination. So this is the theory and from the theory to the practice is a, is a long path, a very different uh, situation. So uh, why? Because for to have this enhancement, uh, you need free, uh, you need uh, free conditions. The first is low the, the low, sorry. You need low ref reflectivity for the target, then you need high uh, bright uh, noise environment, can be artificial or can be natural environment, but very high uh, bright uh, environment. And the third one is very low, uh, sig uh, very low signal. So when you have these conditions, which are the fundamental conditions for the for theory, then this enhancement happens. A, this is for any kind of frequency. You can work, so this theory is correct, or it's, it's like this for a, for a, 
for optical frequency, for microwave frequency, for X-ray frequencies. But the case of uh, optical frequency is, is, is uh, from my point of view, is uh, very interesting because it's the easier to, to realize in experiments. So difference is uh, microwave, which is much more difficult to get these conditions, especially for the detection and for the generation of the, of the, the beams of the, of the states. But for optics, uh, it's uh, much easier to can generate entangled states uh, with a spontaneous uh, parallel conversion on the optical. The, the detectors are there. So there are experiments on the, on the, on the optical regime since 2013. Uh, and, uh, which are basically are quantum laders in the sense that uh, they use uh, this quantum enhancement and uh, the lidar as a, to to instead of to for for lidars, but they are prototypes. Uh, they are experiments in the labs. Uh, the distance are small. Uh, the, the the integration times are are large. So everything is uh, like a, an embryon state. Uh, in this sense, so quantum lidar is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is the prototype that use uh, quantum properties of light for light for range detection. And um, in my work, what uh, what we are doing is uh, to analyze one exercise is uh, to analyze uh, uh, in which conditions or which uh, applications could have a uh, real realistic application can have. This new idea, yeah? well, it's not so new, but it's difficult to to implement. Mm -hmm. And then, since that uh, optical is good because uh, for, for the reason I said before, and the applications uh, one can say could be a uh, enhancement on uh, scanning systems with a, with a, a situation where you need low intensity and you have a bright environment. So there are two probably two natural situations for this one is security application, the other is a, uh, biomedical applications. Uh, if I have to speak of my particular work on this topic, I will say that what I did uh, some quite recently is to generalize the idea from, from Lloyd. So instead of using states uh, from with, uh, with uh, two entangled photons, one use states with three photons. Then uh, basically, when you do this, uh, the enhancement is even bigger, it's larger. Uh, of course, there is a contrast, contrapart is that it's more difficult to generate free, free entangled photons than two entangled photons. And to detect uh, the, 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 the triple is much more difficult than the, 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 the two photons. But this is the situation now. So there are also experiments where, where it is possible in real, and re realistic. Has been, real, uh, has been realized to detect free photons. Um, well, thanks. I, I think, Ricardo, you're going over time now. So, okay, sorry. Uh, I just want to wrap up with a conclusion. Yes. Yeah, so, so it, okay, so it's, uh, we got to keep on time. So, question anybody have a question? I do. So, let me ask you, Ricardo. So, what, uh, uh, what, what advantage? I, I didn't quite understand the advantage. So I understand these aren't yet done. Uh, you haven't actually implemented a quantum LIDAR. Uh, okay, well, Joe's, okay. so maybe uh, Joe's gonna ask something <laughs> a little more relevant. So why don't, why don't I let Joe ask a question? He's got his hand up. Uh, that was actually my question. What is, what is the primary advantage of using quantum LIDAR instead of, uh, I guess, conventional, any kind of non-quantum LIDAR? So, I think yes, there so, are advantages. There, uh, there are. I think there are at least two. The first is a enhancement on signal to noise ratio for the same type of uh, frequency and intensity. And the second is enhancement on range uh, delay uh, accuracy. This has been a, a different. It's a different. It's a different enhancement and happens a different domain of a uh, of, uh, signal to noise ratio, but there, these are the two that I think. Good. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot, Ricardo. Um,